Hello and welcome to Snake Pits on the Commodore VIC-20 and this is for the unexpanded VIC-20 and this was actually developed by Mike Singleton of Lords of Midnight and Midwinter fame, those sort of games and this is one of his early games and you take control of this little chap on the right hand side here, a little smiley face. And the idea is just to gobble up all these little sort of dots uh, while avoiding the snakes. And once you've uh, eaten all the dots, you can then eat the snakes. And, uh, that's pretty much the whole game. I mean, it's an unexpanded VIC-20 game, so you're not expecting all you're not expecting too much, really, I think, uh, but, uh, I mean, actually, it looks like it's fairly simple, uh, but, uh, and actually, it's fairly surprisingly compelling to play, uh, it's, the actual movement of the snakes is quite unpredictable, uh, can be quite a challenge keeping track of uh, what's uh, immediately around you. Uh, trying to predict where snakes are going to head. When the game starts, one of the snakes is pretty much free and uh, the rest of them will eventually work their way free. So you can't just sort of carefully work your way around the, the snakes, uh, just leave a few dots, uh, it just doesn't work. You've just got to really go for it. Oh, just get eaten! Nine dots left. Yeah, so I got eaten by a snake. So you press S to start again. You can see the snake one, the red one on the left is loose already. I think he sort of frees up uh, what some of the other ones. Yeah, he's freed up that green one already. So yeah, this is one of these games that doesn't uh, look too compelling, but actually once you play it, uh, it does actually grab you. I did not own this back in the day, uh, unfortunately. Uh, Lukoso did a review of the C64 version, and he did mention the VIC-20 version, so I thought I would check it out. And the VIC-20 version... Uh, I think it's a little easier. There's less snakes because there's less room on the screen. Um, it's only got a 22 character display, and obviously each snake and each you know, I mean everything moves by one character square. So it's only got a 22 character screen. Well, the C64 has the uh, 40 character screen. Uh, that's uh, 40 characters wide. So yeah, it's, it's a bit less real estate in the VIC-20 version, so it's a bit more cramped, I think, but actually I think that does work in its favour. Uh, I, I did give the C64 version a quick look, uh, but uh, I think I do prefer the, the, the VIC-20 version. It also sounds maybe a little better. The VIC-20 was uh, pretty good at sound effects, I think. Even, I mean, I've said this before, I mean, it wasn't great in music, the VIC-20, but uh, sound effects was definitely its strong point. It could do really sort of meaty, or crunchy sound effects. Uh, it was really good at that sort of thing. Good at sort of arcade style, well, of the day anyway, arcade style sound effects. I've been eating there. Yep, so graphically, I think it's okay. It's, I mean, it's obviously not amazing. Uh, I've reviewed some Victor games recently that look a lot better than this, but then they, they were expanded games they had a lot more memory to play with. I mean, it's pretty hard to, you know, the Victor it's, it's only got 5k total when it's unexpanded, uh, if you don't include uh, uh, RAM taken up by basic. Uh, so it's only got 5k total to play with, and that includes all the codes and the graphics and uh, setting aside memory for the screen display itself. So I think it's pretty good considering. Uh, I, mean, 
and I also reviewed uh, Shadowfax, uh, also by Mike Singleton. And uh, I wasn't too keen on that, I think that was just a bit too simplistic. But this, uh, this is compelling enough to, to keep you interested. So yep, that's a snake pit for you. Uh, I'll give it uh, 6 out of 10. Um, worth a play, uh, absolutely worth a play. Uh, if you're a Vic 50 fan, if you've never, never played it, or yeah, I mean, even check it if you're a C64 van, fan, maybe check out the C64 version. Uh, I mean, okay, it's not quite as impressive for a C64 game, uh, for sure, but uh, the gameplay is pretty much just as good. But yeah, I think it's maybe a little bit more at home on the Vic 20. So, yep, 6 out of 10 for Snake Pit, and uh, see you in the next video.